Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardo. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh, ooh. I said cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm your bubbly blonde, fabulously dressed to impress. professional makeup artist and founder of Faces Beautiful. And we're here at the Metropolitan Pavilion right here in New York City. And she's just about to give us a professional makeup demonstration. Gail, tell my audience what you're going to be doing to Maureen. Well, I have a brush on liquid mineral makeup with a brush attached and I'm going to apply this on Maureen and it's going to make her skin look really fabulous and it's not a messy powder, like it doesn't fly anywhere. You just turn the tube, you squeeze it, it comes right out of the top, you turn it back to off and you start spreading. One, two, three. So it gives you a very airbrush finish, but it's no loose, messy powders the way most mineral powders are just flying all over everywhere. Oh, the idea that I have loose, messy powders on my grout in my bathroom or the bottom of my pocketbook makes me crazy. So I developed a product that gives you all of the benefits of mineral makeup, but none of the mess. It has a built-in primer, a built-in concealer. When it dries, it does not need a powder. It gives you a long wearing, all day long, beautiful. matte finish. It's a, a moist finish. It's not totally matte. Matte would be like kind of like sort of aging looking. Right. Absolutely. Oh my goodness, she looks beautiful already. Look at this finish. Lower your chin a little bit, darling. Look how gorgeous. Oh my God, look at this. Now in a few moments, it's going to dry. And she's going to feel as though she's been airbrushed. How does it feel on you now? It feels great. It feels very light, but... It doesn't feel like you have any cosmetics no, on. it doesn't. But I also don't feel completely naked and, you know, like bad skin showing. And one of the benefits of this product is it doesn't come, like, in these colors that you have to match your foundation. It's what it calls skin enhancing. So it comes in three shades, and they're very forgiving. They pretty much cover everyone's colors. Um, so this is Radiant Beige, which is... It just adds a warm glow, and the other colors are healthy nude, which kind of takes... gives her, like, a sun-kissed look. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's, it's a beautiful healthy. shade on you, really is. It's very healthy. I would even put a little bit up in here, since she has, like, a nude eye on. But you could use it everywhere. As it's drying, how's it feeling now? It feels great. It feels really I've cool. used uh, so many different lines of cosmetics, and I've found with certain foundations, they have like, sometimes they give me like an itchy feeling or like a masky feeling. I mean, you've encountered yeah. that too, it right? it takes so long to, put, to apply sometimes, and it's, you know, you have to like search for a brush or a sponge, and this is all together in one, and it's easy and fast, so. Now, this particular foundation, this brush, on liquid mineral makeup, yes. what sets it apart from other foundations? What is so special about a mineral 
uh, base? Well, the first thing that any woman who wears mineral makeup will tell you is that it truly does make your skin look prettier. And the reason it makes you look prettier is all the, the minerals, the titanium dioxide, the zinc oxide, they fill up like all the little crevices in your skin. So it's smoother. It, it really is prettier. That's one main benefit. Another benefit is that it's in an airtight tube. So inside this tube, you can use this as you have a primer. You can use it to cover a blemish. You can use it under your, you know, as a concealer. You can use it on your whole face. So it's so much in one tube. And of course, because it's airtight, there's no air getting in it. There's no bacteria. It's just fresh every time. You squeeze the amount out that you need every time. Well, what about the brush? I mean, I always think that when a brush is exposed like that, there's, there's like a possibility of bacteria. Well, I purposely made this brush synthetic. It's not made from animal hairs. Animal hair brushes have pores in it where, which can trap bacteria. I made this synthetic. It's not trapping anything. There's no pores in the brush. What comes off, that's all, it's, it's empty now. You see that? There's nothing that can come off now. Do you clean, would you clean a brush like it's that? It's not necessary because you're sharing it only with yourself. It's not necessary. Ah, interesting. At the end of every application, the brush is clear and empty. Of course, you could always just take a tissue and wipe it off if you didn't use all of the uh, liquid mineral that you poured into it. But there's no, re there's really no reason to. See, these are things that m uh, most women consider when they are purchasing a very, very unique uh, base foundation like this. They want to know. I mean, this is a brush. Do I have to wash it? Do I have to clean no. it? These are all very important factors when we do go to a, a cosmetic store to or a department store to purchase a line of base or foundation. It's very important that we, we all know this. You know, myself, like most women, I'm really busy. I mean, we all multitask between work, careers, Tell me about children, it. husbands, boyfriends. I go, you know, I start at 7.30 in the morning. I'm not usually finished till 12.30 at night. I need a product that's easy, that's on the go, that just goes with me. So besides the fact that it lasts all day, I can throw out my bag, and I know that if I, like, need that extra security, like if I need a little touch-up later on, it's so easy. I can do it, you know, in a car, in the train, right. in a taxi. Exactly, ladies in a taxi. <laughs> that's where I was just now, in the taxi. <laughs> exactly. It's so simple. And as women, that's what we need. We need simple. We need convenient. I want a smart makeup. Uncomplicated, right? Stressless. Yes, I want a makeup that does everything. That thought it through before. Like I just use it. I know it's going to last all day. It's water resistant. It absorbs excess oils. It's just fabulous. And look at this gorgeous glow. You She's look. Wonderful. She looks beautiful. And she the really is does. really soft too. It feels really nice actually. I didn't know what it was made of. I like she it. She looks beautiful. Now, tell my audience a little bit more about. Face is Beautiful. Face is Beautiful is a cosmetics company that I started over 12 years ago. We have a salon and, and makeup studio in Westport, Connecticut. We have an online presence where we sell all of our Face is Beautiful cosmetics. And we, are, we, our goal is to make every face just a little bit more beautiful. And that is my pleasure every day of the week. That's what I get to do. And uncomplicated. Uncomplicated. All of our makeup is really simple. It's all mineral based and it's all about women on the go. We need products. Our palettes are designed for women on the go. Our brush are mineral on the go. Our brushes fit inside bags. I don't do any of these 12 inch brushes. That's crazy. You can't even carry that brush. I Every know. I, I, and I, I agree that. with you. Know, what are we painting? <laughs> pictures or painting faces here? Uh, Everything I, I create is made for women like us. Quick. We need to go. Throw it in the bag need to last all day, make it easy, and I'm all about teaching women that one little step, that one little trick to enhance their makeup look. I have a makeup book coming out this summer. Oh, tell my audience. It's about Tell it. my audience. We want to know all about it, Gail. It's amazing. It's good. Instead of, our, you know how most makeup books, they like give you these dreadful before pictures and these incredible after pictures, and you're so intimidated you can never even begin to do, to do all those steps. That's like way too much. My philosophy is that most women have learned what they're going to learn about makeup by the time they're about 20 or 21. So if I can take what you've learned and just teach you one more step or one more tip or two more tips to take your look and enhance it, that's what I do. So my before pictures very often in the book are pictures of women who they come in and this is their everyday look and they say, how do I make this better? So I teach them one, two or three things. Do this to your eye, do this to your cheek, do this to your mouth and you'll look how much better you look. And so our, it's all attainable. It's something that women can really do. A woman will say to me, this is my everyday look. How do I go out at night? 
Well, honey, here's what you need to throw in your bag, and here's how you do these four things. It's we make it simple. So it's all about that. And also, I teach women a lot about um, color placement, where to put color, because the, the, those magazine articles that say make your apple of your cheek pink. I mean, who are they talking to? Every woman should walk around with pink apples. <laughs> Who are they talking to? It doesn't work I that have way. I to be very careful uh, with blush because my hair is so light, and if I put blush in a certain way, it gets on my hair. So I have to just put it on and I never put it on again. Well, that makes sense yeah. for you because your hair would, would absorb a lot of colors. Yeah. But think too, also women who have very dark hair, if they wear blushes too bright, it gets into their hairline also. So also having products that stay exactly where you put them. Our mineral powders, which are all pressed mineral, every product is designed to be used either wet or dry. So when you use a product wet, like if you apply it with a sponge, it stays exactly where you put it, as opposed to when you powder things on, there's room for movement. Yes, I know, especially eyeshadows too. So I, you know, a, a tip for me is I apply my eyeshadow first because I wear very dark eyeshadows. And uh, of course, the, the cosmetics, the makeup that I use on my face is because it's for television and you see me from far away, not really close up. Right. So, I mean, I have to put it on first because if I put it on after I put my foundation on, sometimes I'll get dark specks on my, on my face, on my cheeks. Well, here's a good tip for you then. If you wanted to apply your face makeup first, which I always do, I typically apply my eyeshadows with a brush that's just a tiny bit damp. I put it on the brush, I, that. I tap it off as a smidge, there's no excess, so I'm, I'm a neat freak, what can I tell you? I also put moisturizer on, that helps too, to make it more not blowy so but much. When you use the brush on liquid mineral, you don't need a primer, like you can use this on your eyes as well, because it doubles as a primer. It's excellent. It's, it's such a sexy product, I mean it's a three in one, it's your primer, it's your makeup, it's your concealer, it's everything all in one, like you don't have to buy 12 different products, it's wonderful. Well, now this is the latest addition to the family. Yes, this is the hottest, the latest, the best. This is the it product. Like you, like without this product, you cannot put a face on. Tell my audience the name of this product. Go to facesbeautiful.com. It's called Brush On Liquid Mineral Makeup. Beautiful. Tell my audience one more time the website. Go to facesbeautiful.com and the product is called Brush On Liquid Mineral Makeup. And that's where we can also go to find out more information about you yes. as a professional makeup artist yes. and all your skincare and beauty products and cosmetics. Absolutely. I look forward to seeing you. Also, you can see us on YouTube. We go to our Faces Beautiful channel. We always have fun demonstrations going on there, too. And this will be on YouTube, so you can put this on your channel Absolutely. once it's finished. Absolutely. And I want to thank you so much for thank taking the you. time to talk to us. But I would also like to know, have you, uh, I, I know you're a professional makeup artist, and you must have put makeup and cosmetics on some of the most famous faces in the world. Can you tell my audience about some of the more famous people you have applied makeup to? Um, well, I, living in Westport, Connecticut, there are a couple of you know f wonderful people over the years that I've applied makeup to that I really enjoy. Um, I love Eartha Kitt. She's she was always so wonderful and so dear to my heart. Um, this is also great makeup for men. I mean, I've applied this on Michael Bolton. <laughs> I mean, he's a great looking guy, but let me tell you something. He's better looking with this product on. I'm sure he is, darling. I'm sure he is. <laughs> Gail, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us right here at the Metropolitan Pavilion about this wonderful new cosmetic that every woman should go out and buy immediately because it will only make you look stunningly glamorous and more beautiful. And thank I want to give you a big kiss for Aww. all this. And Maureen thank and you, you were just wonderful. Thank you so much. I definitely You're, feel more beautiful. You're such a doll. <laughs> And we'll be back in a moment, darlings, with more interviews and more cosmetics right here at the Metropolitan Pavilion. Keep watching. Pink Champagne Kisses. Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Dressed, 
been a Cry Baby Productions, darlings.